Bro, you going to Blake's birthday party tomorrow night? Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be great, man. Hey, Alex. You dropped this. Thank you. Can you tell Jaden we're excited to see him at the party? I will. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie. Have a good day? Yeah. God. Hey, Mom. Hey, honey. How was school? Okay. Alex said he's excited to see you at Blake's party. Oh, um, I, I didn't get invited. You didn't? Brenda! Oh, hi, Kathy. Hi. How's it going? Good. Um, I know it's Blake's party tomorrow night, and um, I was wondering, uh, Jaden said he didn't get invited. Since they're friends, I figured it was just a mistake. Oh, no. No mistake, Jaden is not invited. But it was great seeing you, Kathy. Have a great day. Brian, hey. I'm having a party. Did you hear it? It's for Blake. It's Halloween. It's his birthday. It's for Blake. It's going to be so much fun. Here you go. Thanks, Mom. We made your favorite. You know, I was thinking, since Halloween is coming up, maybe you'd want to go to... Universal Studios Horror Nights. I bet Mikey and Jay would want to go too. Mm. That could be fun. No thanks. I always feel like the third wheel of them. Well, we could invite Noah too. He's more of their friend too. Well, are there any of your friends you'd like to invite? Well, even if it was just the two of us, we would still have fun. I don't want to go to that. <sighs> Oh, okay. Um, well, I know you like horror movies, so we could go see Five Nights at Freddy's or maybe the new Exorcist. I don't want to do anything this weekend. Actually, I'm not really hungry. Is it okay if I finish my homework in my room? Honey, does this have anything to do with Blake's party? Is there something that happened between the two of you that I don't know about? I, I don't know. He's nice at school. Just never wants to hang out with me after school anymore. Right when I started feeling like I had a friend, I, I, I don't know why no one ever wants to hang out with me. Sweetheart, a, a lot of people want to hang out with you. Yeah, like who? That's not family or Mikey's friends. Can I just please go to my room? Yeah. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> Love the whiskers. <laughs> See you and Jaden tonight at Brenda's? Um, actually we're not going, but have fun. Oh, that's too bad. Are you guys going out of town or? Unfortunately, Jaden wasn't invited. Mm. I'm sorry. Are you guys gonna do anything else? You know, I asked him if he wanted to go to Universal Studios Horror Nights. He normally likes that, but he said no. Maybe you could try a movie night with a tent and everything. Kids love that. Oh, hey, are you, uh, are you guys going to the party tonight? Jaden wasn't invited. Huh. But I, I thought uh, Blake and Jaden were friends. Right? How cute is this Minecraft pinata that I found? I specifically told you that Blake was into Roblox, not Minecraft. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Let me see what I can do. Roar! <gasps> How cute is this? I can never scare you. It's okay, honey. Are you getting excited about your party? It's all coming together. Mom, can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Is Jaden coming? Um... 
No, baby, he's not. Uh, I asked his mom, but she declined, and I don't think he really wants to come, honey. But it's okay. You should just forget about him, all right? You have a lot of friends coming, and you're going to have a great time. Okay? I promise. All right. Oops. Have fun. Okay, we are all set for the Roblox pinata. And for dinner, you said 25 people, right? Okay, let me check the RSVPs. Well, that's odd. Two people just changed their status. I guess they can't make it. Oh, well, that's typical. Usually 10% of people who RSVP end up not coming. I wouldn't worry. Oh, make that three. That is perfectly fine. I will make an order for 22 then. Oh, hey, Kathy. Getting a last minute birthday present? <laughs> Me too, <laughs> guilty. <laughs> oh, um, no, Jaden and I are just gonna have movie night in the backyard. So I'm picking up some treats. No, I'm sorry. I, I figured you were going to Brenda's. You know, consider how close that Blake and Jaden are. Were. Not so much anymore. Oh, sorry to hear that. You know, I remember being that age and kids have all kind of fallen outs. I wouldn't worry. Well, that's just it. I asked Jaden, and he doesn't think it has anything to do with the boys. I think it has to do with Brenda personally, but I don't know what. I just, I wish she would have said something to me because she has no idea how much this has really affected Jaden. You see, Jaden has always been a great kid, but for whatever reason, he just hasn't been good at making friends. That's why he was so excited when Blake transferred in. From the moment they met, it was clear they were gonna be inseparable. All he wanted to do was be hanging out all of the time. And Brenda seemed perfectly fine with it. They hung out at school, after school. And they even competed in competitions together. Knowing how much Jaden struggled with making friends, nothing made me happier than watching the two of them together. That's why it's been so hard seeing Brenda suddenly keeping Blake away from Jaden. Sorry to get so emotional. It's just, they're just kids, you know? They don't deserve this. Well, it's unfortunate. Just the boy's relationship to be ruined for no apparent reason. Uh, gosh, it makes me, makes me wonder if I should even go. No. No, you should go and have fun. We'll be fine. We're gonna read Goosebumps and watch Wednesday reruns. Just tell Jamie we said hi. No, I, I will. <laughs> Not to be a party pooper, but Blake already has that one. Hi, Brian. So, uh, must be kind of hard for anybody to buy him a gift at this point. I mean, he has everything. <laughs> well, I was just putting it back. Oh. Well, did you get a chance to see the Evite? Because there's a gift registry on there, so it's probably a lot easier. You know, something came up, fortunately, so Jamie and I are not going to be able to attend. But tell Blake I, I did say happy birthday. Uh, wait, Brian? That was strange. Hey, happy Halloween. Thank you. I really... Oh, I get it. You're the reason why everybody's canceling. Excuse me? Three people canceled last minute, and now Brian makes four. He literally had a present in his hand for Blake, and then he put it back. So I wonder what or who changed his mind. 
If you're trying to suggest that I had anything to Oh, I'm I... not trying to suggest anything, Kathy. It's clear you are telling people not to come to Blake's birthday party. And that's so petty of you. Just because you didn't get an invite. Brenda, I will have you know I did no such thing. I did not tell anyone not to come to the party. Brian told me that he felt bad that Jaden and I weren't going, but I told him to go anyway. I don't try to stop people from hanging out together, unlike you. And what is that supposed to mean? Oh. You know what, Kathy? If you were in my shoes, you would do the exact same thing. At some point, are you gonna tell me what actually happened? Because as far as I know, our kids still want to be friends. So if I did something that offended you, I am sorry. Oh my gosh, try not to act so innocent. You know exactly why. No, I don't. Oh, okay, well then let me spell it out for you. This has nothing to do with you and everything to do with your son. You see? I was pretty happy to see Blake making new friends so quickly. But I couldn't help but notice Jaden was always being extra competitive with him. It's like everything my son did, Jaden somehow tried to do it better. And I could see it in my son's eyes that he was hurt, even if he didn't say anything about it. The academic bowl was the last straw for me. After I saw how much attention Jaden was getting and not Blake, I knew I could no longer let our boys hang out together. So you see, I am not going to let Jaden overshadow Blake and belittle him anymore, especially at his own birthday party. I just wish you would have said something sooner. I promise you, Jaden would never do anything to purposely hurt Blake. Blake is just a child. He didn't see what was happening, but I did. That is why I'm not going to let your son hang out with my son any longer. I know parents can have their differences, but unless there's like a really extreme reason, a parent's differences should not stop kids from being able to be friends. It is not fair to them. You are not listening to me. Jaden is constantly beating Blake at everything and making him feel bad about himself. And even if Blake doesn't see it, it will affect him one day. So I am putting a stop to this. Now, if you'll excuse me, this is the party planner and I have to take it. Guests will be arriving. You know what, Kathy? It feels good that Blake is finally better at something than Jaden. And that's having friends. Take care. Hey, Bridget. How's the party coming? Oh, wonderful. And one more from your father and I. Blake, honey? Would you like to open up one of these now? No, thank you. I'll just wait until I guess arrive. Okay, sweetie. All right, we are all set. Are people still arriving at eight? Well, that's what I put on the invitation. Oh. oh. Well, I wouldn't worry. People are always notoriously late to parties. I'm sure they'll come soon. Do you want to watch Wednesday first or read a book? You can decide. How about some candy? Let's see, we've got Skittles, Starburst, M&Ms, Twix. I'm okay. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Well, if you don't want to do this, we could play video games. Mom, you don't even know how to play. I could learn. All right, well, just tell me, what do you want to do? You can pick anything. Hold that thought. <sighs> wow, what are you guys doing here? 
Brian told us about your conversation at the store. That's why we and lots of others decided not to go to Blake's party and to come here instead. Is that okay? Oh, and we brought donuts. Yeah. Come on in. Nice costume. This doesn't make sense. Everyone should be here by now. Well, maybe they're stuck in traffic because of Halloween. It's 9.15. Are you trying to tell me that every single person is over an hour late? Well, did you double check the dates on the invite? Yes. Here, check the evite. It looks like everyone went to Jane's party. What? Here, let me see that. Ooh. Give me my phone, woman. Thank you so much for coming, guys. I'm really, I haven't seen Jade in this happy in a long time. Give me a sec, I have to take this. Oh, hi, Brenda. What a nice surprise. Oh, cut the crap, Kathy. I know you, you told people not to come to Blake's birthday party. No one is here. I did not. For your information, I was just as surprised to see them all here as you are. I guess when they found out that Jaden wasn't invited, they decided to come on their own. Kathy, please, just tell everybody to come on over. You and Jaden are invited. You have no idea what this is doing to Blake. Well, oh, I'm sorry, but I have plans now. And maybe now you can understand how you made my son feel. Uh, what's that? Oh, oh, there's more people coming? Okay, I, I gotta go. I guess Blake doesn't have more friends than Jaden after all. Bye, Brenda. Kathy, wait, 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 wait. Jaden, how long have you been standing there? At this point, do you want us to start cleaning up? Or maybe we can cut the cake. Blake, would you like to see the Roblox cake I bought you? Bridget and I can sing you a happy birthday. No. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Oh, sweetie, you can't go to sleep without cake. Why don't you at least blow out your candles? Blakey? I heard there's a birthday party. Where's the birthday boy? <laughs> oh, right here. <laughs> nice, nice costume! costume. <laughs> uh, let's go push your fun. Yeah. Hi. Oh, God. Hi. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for making this happen. I didn't think you were going to come. No, well, I wasn't going to. But then Jaden reminded me that just because parents have their differences, that Shouldn't stop their kids from being able to be friends. I agree. So, come on in. I've got some fabulous cheese dough. <laughs> 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 